Hey y'all, Sai here. I am going to make a sign and I am going to cut these out on the scroll saw and then make some kind of backer for it, which I think I'm going to, I think I have a plan for it. Um, anyway, so yeah, I thought I would just have you tag along with me while I make this. Okay, I have this piece of wood that is going to be the backer and I'm going to put these boards, which are also going to be the backer, but they're tongue and grooved and this will give it some strength. But I'm going to glue these down and then the plan is to um, put some stain on them. Maybe an ebony stain and go from there. So I'm just going to glue these down. I used wood glue and it was coming out of the glue bot in a small stream. So I took the lid off and poured it instead and used a brush to spread it around. These pine tongue and groove pieces are left over from the laundry room wall we covered at the little Newport house we had. There's a video about that out there somewhere. Right now we'll put a board over the top of it and some weight. But this weight wasn't enough, so I ended up clamping it later. I cut the words out and used some spray glue to attach them to a piece of pine that is just under one inch thick. This will make the words nice and sturdy. Then cut them down into more manageable pieces on the little bandsaw. Then cut the words out on the Hegner scroll saw that I call Bob. Since this was pine, it cut very easily with a number 5 Pegasus modified geometry blade. And there were a bunch of letters that needed inner cuts, so I drilled a hole in each area for the threading of the blade. And as you know, I don't like to do this. I fret about it. But I used my garage sale find Makita scroll saw for this part. Bob is my favorite scroll saw, and if anyone out there has a Hegner, you know what it takes to change the blade. It isn't hard, but it is a process. I love it because it holds the blade so well and it doesn't distort, but to make inner cuts is quite the chore. I was happy to discover the blade clamping on this Makita is similar to the Hegner. It still has its challenges, but it is a lot easier to do than on Bob. I am aware of the quick clamp for the Hegner, and I do have one, but I just like the original clamps the best. And now I will use my new old Makita for any inner cuts. Wally was on my heels as I removed all the weights off the board. Then I put the words on there real quick to take a peek. I was liking it. Next was to mark out the circles, so I used the original template where I had cut out the paper words. I put a piece of carbon paper underneath and traced over the circle. Part of the circle was missing, so I measured the diameter of the circle, marking the center. And with the radius measurement, I adjusted my homemade circle drawer to that length and completed the circle. Then I cut that out on the little bandsaw. And smoothed up the curve on the little belt sander. Then sanded off any fuzzies and carbon paper marks. And I noticed while working with this piece that it wasn't glued together well. So I clamped it up a lot and let it sit for a long time. I used a small brush and I put some mineral spirits on the paper to help remove them. And it worked really well. When the mineral spirits dried up, I took them outside to paint. I ended up putting on about three coats of paint. The next day, I removed the bean bag weight and all the clamps. The can had only a little bit of stain left in it, and it was all clumpy and really weird, but it worked okay. I tossed out the rest. When that was all set up, I used a Sharpie to blacken the edge.
Then before putting it all together, I added a sawtoothed hanger to the back. Then I added a verse using the heat transfer technique. I put Genesis 2.24, which says in part, The two shall become one. Carl and Danielle, my stepson and daughter-in-law, have been married a long time, and maybe you've seen the videos with my occasional co-host slash grandkids, Nadine and Noah. Well, they are their kids! Anyway, I had made them a sign a while back, and it was pretty fragile, so it has broken over the years, so this one should be a lot sturdier. And then it was time for gluing the names on. So I laid them out and did some adjusting, then started gluing using Tight Bond Quick and Thick. And then I used a small brush and water just to clean up some squeeze out. Yay, it's all finished! And I'm excited to take this to them. And it was a lot of fun to make. Can't beat the scroll saw. So thanks for joining me, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye.